Okay, so this is kind of kind of be the fun part. Uh, we've got everything set up, and now we just get to build out a really fun scene. So what I want to do is I want to lay out some kind of some poker chips, um, and kind of fan the cards out, make it look like kind of a game's going on or something, um, and then create a really cool spot for like a title to sit. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do right away is I'm going to utilize the cloner object. Um, so the way that works, sorry, I'm just going to clean up my scene here just a little bit. Um, the way that works is. Um, I'm going to use, change my mode here, standard, I'm going to create a cloner object. And cloner object just kind of does what it does, it clones out what you want to, your object. So um, we'll start with the white chip, I'll throw it inside of a cloner object. And by default it's going to move it over, it's going to stack three of them. So I'm going to stack these, we can start making stacks as tall as we want, but they only need to be as spaced out as much as um, your scale is. So. I'm only going to space them out. So I'm right on top of the fabric, and I'm only going to space them out. Maybe go to the side view here and get it exactly. All right. They're not quite overlapping there. Let's do six point two. Cool, that feels nice. You can see kind of the edge they sit on there. And then we can stack them as high as we want. So I could stack them, um, you know, 15 or 20 high. We'll do 20 high for this one. Um, and then obviously they didn't just come off the factory, they're stacked up on a table. So let's give them a little more visual interest. And one of the ways we can do that is by using an effector called the random effector. And that's gonna just jumble them in every which way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to zero out all the positions and I'm just going to scooch it a little bit on the x-axis, just ever so slightly, maybe a little bit on the y as well. Whoops, not the y, the z. So they don't look perfect. Uh, maybe even one and one would be fine. And then I'm also going to tweak the rotation a little bit on the x-axis here so that they don't all look super perfect. So that's a really easy way of doing it. Um, yeah, that looks super nice. So then what I can do is I can just duplicate that cloner remove the white chip from it and just toss in a different color chip so I can throw my blue chip. And they're overlapping right now so I can move them over. Okay. And then I can, you know, I can refine this cloner object and I can stack them a little bit taller. Um, and then I'll do the same thing with my red chips. I could drop down a bunch. And a discipline I don't have very much is labeling things, but try to keep things labeled and organized as much as possible. It will save you a bunch of headache in the long run. Do this with my red stack. Okay, great. And then I have my um, table. Okay, cool. So let's say I did something like that. Okay, and I can take my chip, or my card rather. Just leave my ace over there for now. Make a new one here. So the cool thing is, remember I textured both sides of this one. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm just gonna make a stack of cards. Same thing, I'm going to toss it inside of a cloner object. Now this one obviously is going to be a lot tighter. Oops. And I'm going to rotate them all over. Oops. Actually, I'm going to rotate the original. Hmm, why is it not? It's not seeming to matter what I do with it. Okay. Let's figure out a different way to rotate this. 
You know what else I could do? I could just inverse my sides. Boom. The power of texturing. That was not very official, but I'll allow it. Okay. So again, we're going to go in on the side view here. And we're going to try to line up these as best as we can. So just so they sit ever so slightly on top of each other. Try 1.5. So they're just barely kissing each other there. Okay, killer. So that's only three cards high, but we know a deck of cards is actually 52 cards. So let's just for fun type in 52, see how high that stack gets. Okay, that's a pretty high stack of cards. I don't know if I love that. Um, obviously, you'd hand some deal some cards out, so maybe we'll go like I don't know. Let's just do thirty-five. It feels more like a decent sized stack. Um, and again, I'm going to apply um, a random effector because that looks too perfect. A deck of cards would never look like that when you're playing with them. So zero all these parameters out, and we'll just do a little slight there, a little slight there. Whoops, not on the Y. Next, and then on the rotation, we'll do the same thing. So maybe a 1% rotation. Okay. Let's see how that's starting to feel. Okay. So the cards definitely look pretty cool. Again, this is just a couple default lights. There's nothing nothing really great going on with lighting yet. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that for a stack of cards. So you can lay out your scene however you want, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed through this here, and you can see how I um, ended up laying out my scene.